Oh, look at it squirming. Yeah, I'm about to eat this. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. So I went to Seoul, Korea this past June. I know it's been a while, I just haven't gotten the chance to finally put this video up. I was there for about four weeks, so I was quarantining at my family's apartment for two weeks and then had about like a week and five days to just explore the city. I also just wanted to be transparent with the reason why I went to Korea. My parents had to go for business related purposes and they really wanted me to go to Korea with them to just see my grandparents there before they get older and before I start working a full-time job. Please, if you do decide to travel, make sure to wear your mask, follow protocols, quarantine when you're back. The virus is real, people are actually dying. So just please, please be careful. So with that being said, this vlog is just going to cover all the things that I did in Seoul, some fun things to do there. If you wanna see more content, feel free to check out my Instagram. There's a story highlight of everything that I did while I was there and in the description box I'm gonna make sure to put all the links and more details of the places that I went to. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> We just got to Hongdae. I met up with my Hi. friend Jenny. Hi. Quick story of how Jenny and I met. She randomly DM'd me on Instagram. We were legit strangers who had never met before in real life. One month later, when I unexpectedly ended up going to Korea, I hit her up because why not? We met up and it was like we'd known each other for years. We were walking around. This street is so fun. There's so much going on. There's like stores in every corner. So many college students walking around, like restaurants. It's so cool. <laughs> You got it! Ah! So many earrings to choose from. I don't even know where to begin. They're like stacked to the ceiling. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute this is. Does this actually work? <gasps> it does work. Okay, how do I play? Oh, I died. I've been wanting to check out this store for such a long time. It's a really cool Korean sunglass eyewear store. I don't know if you guys have heard of Dental Monster, but they're known to have really cool conceptual designs in their store. <laughs> So I'm at this mall called the Coex Mall and there is this beautiful library just smack in the middle of the shopping center. How cool is that? I'm currently at this like wholesale fish market. There are so many different stalls with like all kinds of seafood. How cute is my grandma? She is styling right now. Hi, Moni. Mm. Hi, here for the camera. Hi. Mm. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, that crowd is huge. Oh, it's so oh. So we just bought our seafood, hand selected, and now they bring it upstairs and they cook that just for us at like a separate restaurant. I'm about to try some live octopus. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. Oh my god, it just like stuck to my chopstick. Yeah, I'm about to eat this. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh my god, it's moving in my mouth. Currently walking around Namdaemunshijang with my parents. It's a super popular spot for tourists. Um, it's kind of like a marketplace. They have all kinds of goods and souvenirs, clothing, whatever you're looking for. 
this whole street is just lined up. I'm just kind of looking around. They have a lot of super fun stuff. I kind of need a new bag. I'm not sure if this is the spot to buy it from, but it's fun to walk around regardless. We just got to this Korean pancake stand. It's called Cold Duck. And basically it's this fried doughy pancake filled with honey. It's so good. It's one of my favorite things to eat. There's a line of people just waiting. I'm so excited to try it. I haven't had it in so long. Wow, look at that. This thing is so good. We just got to Myeongdong, which is a super popular shopping area. It's lined up with stores left and right. It's an idea of like what each of them. Pretty crazy how empty these streets are right now. Usually it's packed with people, kind of like Times Square type packed, and there's not that much people today. Dongdaemun Marketplace, which is the wholesale marketplace that has anything from clothes, eyeglasses, bags. I'm in the bag department right now, and there's so many options to choose from. It's so fun because they're open super late. I just bought this bag. It's super cute, and it was only $19. I just got to this cafe called Blind Alley and it's famous for their raccoons. So apparently there's two raccoons that live here and a baby pig and a corgi and they bring them out and you can play with them and they're super friendly. I cannot wait. I've always wanted to play with a raccoon. We ordered some tea and here's the setup of the cafe. It's really cozy and cute. Hello! Hi little guy! Oh my god! <laughs> you want more? Oh, I want a raccoon. Where can I get a pet raccoon? Yeah. Oh my god! I love you. Oh, oh, shingy. 잡고 돌리면은 <웃음> 잡고 돌리면 돌아갔는데 이제 잡혔다고. <웃음> 나도 나도 말하는데. So we're sitting down. I think he's gonna bring the pigs out right now. 네, he's 괜찮아. coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. <웃음> <웃음> 야, 나내 돼지 돼지 이렇게 해줘. Oh <웃음> 야, 너 oh 신기하다. My oh my god. Hi, 얘네들이 원래 조금 할 때는. I just got to the street called Tarusuki, which has a bunch of like trendy, stylish stores, and I'm right in front of the Gentle Monster display. I'm walking inside. Wow. <laughs> the last floor is a little candy shop. It's so cute. Just got to this jewelry store and I'm getting my ear pierced. Right in there. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I've been wanting this piercing for a while, so I'm really excited. I just got it. 
am currently walking the streets of Gangnam. If you've heard of the song Gangnam Style, this is the place where it was all originated. So you can come to a store like this and rent a hanbok, which is a traditional Korean dress. They're so pretty. So you pick your dress, all kinds of beautiful dresses, and then you pick your top. This is what I decided to wear. So beautiful. And now we're gonna walk around. This village is so beautiful. I love how there's this tradition right in the middle of such a huge city. You can see Seoul in the back and all those big buildings. I just got to this tea place called Suyeon's Hanbang. It's so beautiful here. It's like a traditional style place where you sit down and drink tea. No, it's like a Korean shaved ice uh, dessert. And then we also got some tea. Wow. We're checking out Gyeongbokgung, which is a really famous temple. It's right in the middle of the city. It's basically like a, an ancient king's palace. Right behind me, you can see the entrance into the rest of the temple, um, but they've temporarily closed that just because of coronavirus. So I'm only able to really just look around this little square. It's still really cool. I wish I could go inside to show you guys more, but I can't unfortunately. So we'll just go up to the entrance. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more content similar to this, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did love it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.